Uh, I thought it was I wanted to I, I had a last second change for which game I was wanting to do. Change for which game I was wanting to do. Game I was wanting to do. <sighs> Still repeat. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so the audio is working. I don't know how I feel about the sound difference. I'm gonna turn on the sound, and if I guess if anyone thinks that it's too low, I can always change it. But it feels like it's a little. Feels like it might be a little loud. Hold on. Hello. Hello? Oh, okay, yeah, that seems good. Okay, I think it sounds good. Now, it's not catching, actually, I'm kind of thinking that it's not catching the, uh, the image. Just see if I can... It doesn't seem like it's quite capturing the game capture. Our game capture is not quite working. Let's try again real quick. Maybe get had to get in and out. Hopefully I don't have to change that. Um, no, I, I don't think it's capturing it, yeah. I believe there's a way Game capture. Create new. Okay. Specific window. Star traders. Okay, let's hope that's working. I might need a oh I'm not in Star Traders though, I don't think at the moment. No I am. I am definitely in Star Traders. I don't know if it's necessarily showing it. Hmm. Seems like we're starting this one with a little bit of technical difficulty. <laughs> How's everybody doing though while well, I'm working this out? Um I decided to do Star Traders because it's a game I, I did a lot. I used to do a whole lot. Um, but uh, I haven't had a chance to do it lately. And it's changed a lot. It's got a lot of cool stuff to it. Here, actually, let me change to window mode. And then see if that, that captures it now. Okay, it's a specific window, so... Boop. Turn that off. And yeah, close the game again. Get it back into it. Please be working. Please. <laughs> Please work. No. Come on. No. Hold on. Catch this new window. Uh, hmm. I'm pretty sure I got this. <laughs> uh, catch. 
in the power of this map. There we go. How about that? You working now? No. Don't want to work. If it doesn't work, we might actually change the game. <laughs> uh. You hit capture foreground window with hotkey. However, now this might, if you try to type in chat, I might not be able to see that really well. So, to be warned. I do be warned in that case. That might be the case. Uh, if I know what that hotkey is. <laughs> Uh Oh, I need to think I think I need to set that up. Hold on. So if you guys will hang in there with me real quick. Oh, here comes the music. <laughs> And we will be there in just a second. Settings, stream. Hotkeys, here we go. Uh, game capture. I'm going to put a button I don't think I've used. There we go. Let's see if this works. <laughs> now you might see I'm gonna have my stream on another thing, so you might see when I do that, it might capture it, but then it's gonna Whoop, is it gonna do it? No, I was hoping it would work. Oh, maybe I, need, I gotta press OK. Let's try that. Capture foreground with hotkey. I'm pretty sure I pressed the right key. Pretty sure I pressed page down. Yeah, I need a way to turn it off. So I want to change just the page up. Oh, change this page up. And change just the page down. Apply. Get that. And then up. It changes the full screen, but that might turn out to be it. Is now that I've done that. Is it working? <laughs> I don't think it's working. Hold on, I, I think I, I think I tend to turn it on and off. Hold on. There you go. Anyone see what's going on? Add one more source display capture or it should be game capture but uh, I might have to do it like some kind of display capture uh, 
any full screen application. That's definitely a full screen application. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's get rid of these other two. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder why it's not working. Huh. Uh, let's let's try let's try. Okay, let's try. Let's try getting back into to. Uh, let's try getting into more time. See if that works. See if I start getting this stream. Reaction there or stream search working? Is it going? Is it working? <laughs> Hopefully so. Skip that. It's coming up. A nice day. To oh die. yes. Or maybe it's live a little longer. Is working. <laughs> If, okay, so guys, if we can't get the if we can't get Star Traders to work, I'm gonna switch over to more time because more time's fun. But uh, I'll switch to more time if I have to. Pretty, I actually did my my first stream was actually on more time, uh, but I didn't like uh, I either forgot to set it up to record or something along those lines or. If I, Something was wrong with the stream, so I ended up just getting rid of it for my videos. It, it, it may have, or even it may have been a situation where I didn't have, I, I tried to do it, but it just didn't work at all. So we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll close more time right now. And if, uh, if it doesn't work, and if, uh, or, uh if our st uh, other game won't work, we will, we will carry on. <laughs> It should look weird though. Come on. Is that working? Is it working? No, I don't think it's working. I wonder why. You know what? I might actually just do. Display capture. I have captured court, but okay. Uh, it might be a little bit of inception here for a second. We'll see. Let's close game capture here. Display capture. No? Is it not working? Ah, no. Well, we might actually do, you know, we might actually end up just doing that other plan. If this won't work, I don't know. I don't know what else to. I was hoping to play that. I didn't see any reason why every other game would work and that one wouldn't, but. Actually, I see a little red dot. I wonder if uh if uh there's a if we just do display capture again. See that little red dot? No, it doesn't do anything. Uh, page up. Page down. No. Yep, we may have to go to uh I uh, wonder if media, media source should work. That'd be kind of funny if that's what what works. No? 
No, nope, that doesn't work either. Hmm. Huh. I wonder why. I wonder, really wonder why. Uh, oh, oh, no. Hmm. Window capture, maybe. Ah, that's my work. That's my work. My totally work. Uh, no, don't capture that. I, well, actually, no, we tried window capture, didn't we? No, we did not. I see this works so much better. I don't know if it'll catch the audio, though. You might not have the audio. Uh, we'll see. But at least it'll, it's, it's going to be working, kind of. Let me see. Uh, I'll turn on the, I'm gonna te I'll test the sound again. But at least it'll, it's, it's going to be working, kind of. Let me see. Uh, I'll turn on the, I'm gonna te I'll test the sound again. But at least it'll, it's going to be working, kind of. Oh, we uh, got it. <laughs> sorry for the looping. That just so sorry for the, the whole uh, what call it kind of rough beginning, but we'll get back to it. And thank you for helping uh, there on the video channel as well, because I know that I put these on uh, the video and demand the VOD channel too. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll be we can do it. That's good. We have the sound. We have everything. All right, we're ready to go. <laughs> I don't know why it's gotta be. Uh, it's one of those games that I guess it's just gotta be special with how you record it. But I have, I've got that on my now. So I was hoping for this time we try to do an explore. Uh, I don't typically do explore. Um, I typically do like the merchant and, uh, or the soldier routes, maybe even bounty hunter. I, it's been a long time since I played too. A lot of the new stuff has really to do with the, the war guys. The commander esque people. Um, but speaking of, actually, I wonder if I still have that unlocked. It's locked! No! Yeah, it's locked to me. It got rid of my uh, achievement. That uninstalled the game. So we are technically starting starting off totally from scratch, which is good and bad. Uh, I'm gonna turn the sound down a little bit if I can. No. I'm just turn off the music. I'll leave on the explosions and stuff. The music's cool, but it's just way way too loud. I think. Uh, so we'll go in. Did I turn down like way low? It's still, still really, um, loud. So we want to pick. Now, just because we pick something like, uh, um, Explorer doesn't mean, or something other than Explorer doesn't mean we have to be, we can't be an Explorer. You can be anything, but this is kind of just what your captain's good at. And there's really two kind of design philosophies really I i've seen and that's either make your captain just a guy who never sees battle <laughs> you know so he just never fights and lets everyone else do the fighting like officers that are expendable do the fighting because if you're if you're playing the iron man uh they just die they uh and they die that's it that's a um, it's game over so um uh let's see And the thing is also like a difficulty slider, too. I try to see if I can try to get like 100, 100 percent, so like do as much damage to others and as much, others do as much damage to me as equal. I can't remember exactly which one that was. So pirate like a uh, military officers kind of can do a little bit of both. Explorer can do a little bit of both. Merchants more of the sit back and lead, unless you pair it with military officer, because you can get multiple classes as you go on. Um, let me turn up the sound a little bit on my side for that. Spy's pretty cool. Uh, let me check to make sure that stream still we're doing all right. Okay, it's still doing good. That's good. Okay. Um, 
I really want diplomat. Is that always? Uh, that's another one I like doing. Is that? Is that like the spy? But you get to be all sneaky. Um, and so intelligence. Is that like the faction where it's like the uh the right shirt faction in it? Is that like all the uh kind of spy esque faction? Is that only part of the problem is I'm not a huge fan of. Is it weird that I I feel like I'd rather play a spy a spy than a smuggler? I don't know why. Because to me I feel like. I don't know that to me smugglers have always kind of come off as we call it a little silly. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. It just seems a little silly. It makes you like think like you're going to, like going into like, like as if someone's going and like ooh I'm hi I'm hiding something in in the ship and somehow they're not finding it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it you know that happens in life in real life. But I think. To me, spy is a lot like it. It makes a lot more sense to me than than smuggler. Like to where where you'd be making money and where they I should give you a ship to go do it. It's kind of funny that you know smuggler is like thanks for the ship. I will now proceed to to <laughs> take all of this contraband and 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 take it places. But I guess you know smuggler can technically be smuggling people, like a like a diplomats on the planets so there's that too so there's um so it's not necessarily bad but xeno hunter and and explorer is pretty cool to do too um because these you're just straight up going after aliens which ex you could kind of explore with this class too and it's kind of got a good the main thing when you're picking your class is these captain traits here they're going to be very important because you will not get them again. So sometimes this matters more. Uh, you can get like I think up to three classes for your captain. You cannot get more than three classes or three. You cannot get any more traits uh, for your captain than what he starts with. Um, that's why I kind of like some some of the other classes like commander gets a thing where it protects your crew from dying in space battles, which is to me. If you're going to be anything that fights in space, it's one of my favorite starting things. Even if it does make the captain a little more, like his only way to, if he's going to be in an actual fight himself, he can only really buff anything. Whereas um, outside of that, the captain's just uh, they call it mostly just making sure everyone else doesn't die. Kind of like the doctor, like a doctor, but but it can do like everything real well because in any profession, you don't want your people to get get, explo get blown up. I know Explorer kind of does a level of smuggling too because of Xeno artifacts. Ooh, I didn't think about that one. Um, you know what? Uh, I like the idea of doing spy. So we're gonna do super spy here. We're gonna we're gonna have a spy. Uh, my advice to you is if you ever play this game, uh, to to not um, to not take experience as your number one. <laughs> To not take experience as your number one thing. Uh, because it's just not worth it, in my opinion, to start with just a um, higher level. But um, again, I haven't played this in a long time. Uh, I wouldn't even put these two that high up. I'd always put skills and attributes high. If you intend to play a character for a long time, if you want to. Uh, if you want to play the character for like, I want to go in and blow up a ship, and then that'd be it. <laughs> Then yeah, for all means, put ship first and then experience, um, because then you just start off with the best ship at the beginning. Or if you really don't care if your captain uh, is um, got has poor growth in the long run, and just intend to make up for it with other people. But to me, I think these are best at the top. Um, particularly because these you just don't really get much a chance to change. Um. Whereas this is you, you level up very quickly at a low level too. So we'll name our template Super Spy. Or in fact, let's do Space Spy. <laughs> let's do Space Spy. 
It's kind of funny. Uh, but uh, this is space spy. And so this guy's basically kind of more like the hacker kind of spy, kind of, too. Uh, you know, and I guess there are, like, these little text adventure missions, which change that. But uh, they do their own thing. But uh, now, um, this is a very when you're picking these, it's very important to decide, are you the combat person? Are you not? Right now, kind of, to pick. Because certain things are going to matter more. Uh, I like to go full charisma on most of my captains. And I like to go generally high wisdom. Because even here it says like useful for sp spying and exploring. Resilience I typically raise as well. Um, now I could do I could do is I could go quickness, right? And then I can go and I can I can fight pretty well because now my guy will always act first because they're across from each other. Um, those are going to be pretty good because they're going to be because both of these t together basically determine your speed um and and so it's similar with like fortitude, fortitude is your health resilience is that if you are going to die it, it's a uh, it's what prevents you from dying <laughs> so uh let's let's give this a shot then shall we um let's see this is Physical can the, these two combined also uh, this gives a small element of your health fortitude a little more uh, resilience also affects level of spying from what I remember affects some spying things also if, like if your character dies for any reason it's basically to avoid death save um so and these can like affect dodge hmm. So I'm kind of thinking this setup will probably be the best for what we're doing here. I could do fortitude and just go, well, resilience is going to be bad. Because resilience is morale too. And I'm going to have huge wisdom, which is morale. I go a little bit of fortitude, which will give me a little more health. And just not risk. Like if I, if I might basically not get to the point, just go, I'm not going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to, and with an 18, I'm not going to risk it. I, you know, I'll leave it. I'll leave it where it is. And I don't normally like compromising on these two, because the way I see it is, your captain is probably the captain probably has to be the smartest and wisest person in the crew, because their skills go straight to the captain, like the captain uh, choices. And with if if in these generally will be all all mo your attributes your mental attributes will generally determine all of those the chance for those to succeed. Um, and you can get your ship shot, and then this stuff get affected, like things like fortitude get affected. So we will be, and then this is actually pretty good resilience too, as far as this is. Like you could have real low resilience if you pay, put attributes lower, so this isn't like a, a bad resilience by any any means, but bad compared to what you could do at this level. So we're gonna lock that in. Uh, we want to go command is another thing that you generally would would like, uh, but in this case we're gonna rely on our first mate to to do all those to do to do that. <laughs> You can, you know, they can, they can do all that leadership stuff because, uh, we're going to be super spy. Um, way I see it is he's probably like the actual captain captain because you, way you get this is you basically get it passed down in your family lineage. You're basically like a knight, then several horse and, and castle, you get a, a ship, but, uh, it's a little more complicated than that, but that's, that's the gist of it. Um. I believe they use swords and pistols. You want at least like, a lot of times I suggest at least one blades, so they can at least hold a blade in your offhand if you're gonna ha if you're gonna have a pistol. Uh, and I believe spy actually gives growth to pistols. I want to say, but your class will determine it when you get any of these. So if you never play a class that gives you blades, you will never be able to hold a blade uh, unless they've changed that. So I want to go. Command, I don't, well, there are times where command's important, uh, but it's not the most important thing in the world. 
Um, stealth is good for a spy. Uh, but it affects the, the effectiveness of spy talents, but I don't know. I don't remember all the spy talents, actually. Oop. But I don't like the black market, typically, because I just don't care much for, um, for, uh, uh, the, um, what was it, the smuggling system. Uh, I rather, like, I find, I find it more challenging to actually just, if I'm going to do a merchant, to actually try to go from place to place. But some people love it. That is what, like, somebody with merchant captain, their end game is to be a smuggler. So that's just me, personally. Uh, and if you're not good at it, you can get in a situation where you're like, oh, well, I either want to go back. If you're not playing Iron Man, go back and then try again. Which isn't, that takes the fun out of that if you do that. But um, my suggestion is if you ha have at least one in a skill that you want to be able to use. But like blades, but uh, some of these other ones you don't necessarily need to. But I gotta go full evasion here. <laughs> a little bit of command, maybe. But negotiate, I like. Uh, typically, tactics did some critical hit stuff. It's not super important, but it's helpful. It's helpful. Uh, let's save. I want to actually see what. Uh, but I want to see the spy thing one more time. See if people tell me what they get. Which, oh, it's electronics. I remember. Electronics basically determines how much money we're making. Uh, you can get some guys with some pretty crazy electronics skill. I don't think we can affect the electronics skill at the beginning, no. So that's not some... We, and then stealth is another thing we get. Which is critical hit. Uh, evasion is important if you're wanting to dodge hits and don't have a lot of health. Uh, tactics give, gives to um, critical hit, but not so much, not as much all the time. So like stealth because uh, let's see, but we're, we won't be selling items. We're, we're going to actually be selling. Now, I, I I like the smuggling missions where you're smuggling people back and forth, kind of like like a, like sitting a, like taking a spy and hiding them in, which is fun. I I like those. I I just not a fan of the the con like a. I don't tend to like to do contraband esque missions because it's basically a trading mission with a little more like just with a little bit of RNG to it. And I'd, I'd rather do like a heavy hauler kind of trader build than to and, and, and just make my challenge out of finding places that will actually buy my stuff. <laughs> that's that's me. Um, could do that. But the negotiation is very important. But we're, you know, we're playing the spy. That is just a well. We're the charis we're charismatic. We're charismatic spies. Should we play like the hitman? Maybe we should play space hitman. Let's do stellar. Or right, no, let's just do hitman. <laughs> let's just do hitman. Let's do hitman. Okay, so let's actually change his attribute. Attributes then. We, we want wisdom. We don't care so much for charisma. He's not very char charismatic. Or we won't necessarily maybe make specifically Hitman, but we'll see. He may actually we may make actually Space Hitman. We'll see. We may want we're gonna do melee then because there's actually an assassin class. Yeah, that look that's looking better. And we'll just go. You know what? He can't really talk for for anything, so. <laughs> Uh, fortitude. Do, 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 do. Uh, do I want more fortitude? I definitely want it to be as quick as possible. I'm gonna get more health through this way. I really don't want. Uh, I don't really care so much about relying on resilience here because 
I would actually maybe rather them run away. Uh... But if you have a heal, like if you have some healing people, resilience is good because then you won't run out of morale. I'm getting help from strength, so we'll do some resilience, and we'll so we'll have probably a good amount of morale because this is the main contributor. Then you have, I believe, this. I think is a factor maximum morale. I believe is a factor maximum morale. So it's, it's, it won't be so bad. It will, it will have like a 14, uh, a 30, 14, and a 30, and a 30, 18 contributing. And we really shouldn't be getting hit that much. So I should be able to avoid long enough for like a doctor to help me. And at least I believe that should probably work out. <laughs> you know what? I, I, my guy's going to be, my guy's not going to care. I don't want to, the worst thing is having your captain die in space. Trust me. I, I, I've had it happen. It's not fun because you're like they shoot right where your captain is, and it's like, yeah, congratulations, your captain just got blasted out of space. So I want to buff that little thing immediately, like uh, that little thing immediately, rather than wait and get him killed <laughs> too quickly. Uh, let's see. All right. So Hitman. We want a ship. Uh, we now I like the smaller ship. To, I don't know, like um, some people hate it. It's my favorite. <laughs> I do not like the big ships because I do not like to start in the big ships. I like the big ships. I don't like to start in the big ships because they're uh, because I I do, I kind of feel like I start a little bit in end game. I like to start in spy and then move 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 up or start as something small, like even a small trader, and move up, do missions, mission, 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 and stuff like that. Ooh, I probably should have negotiation for that. Oh darn! I I just realized I do want charisma. I do want charisma because uh, negotiation is going to impact missions, I believe, and negotiation with uh, with uh, contacts, if I remember. Increases rewards. Actually, no. It'd be it, it, it'd be a fun challenge. Let's let's have the fun challenge and go. We don't want charisma. This this guy is just out for blood here. Uh, I don't really need that. Would give me a little extra starting money if I move this up because of the remaining budget. It doesn't give you the full budget, I don't think. But I rather have contacts at the moment because uh, these these people can really save you a lot of trouble. Let's go with a... Now, they could give me assassin recruits, which would be massively ironic. Uh, because I could then get an assassin and have them do all the assassining. Uh, but uh, I don't really want to worry about that. I want to... Maybe... Ooh, I forgot you have to press those. Hmm. Maybe about... No, I, can't, I don't have the bounty hunter talent that would allow me to just jump onto the thing. I guess we're not a hitman. I guess we're... Because we're not really a hitman. We're just... um. Because we're not really an assassin, really. We're... Because we're not bounty hunting people. Say... Now I guess super... Just super spy. Is if like if you look at your uh, classes here that you can start as one of them you can get is an assassin, which would be fun. But we can't we we don't start with that. We, and then we get like pistols and stuff like that. And as you can see from Infiltrator, we get wisdom and charisma gains to profit when going into a conflict. Which that's when you that's some of the coolest part of this game is is the conflict. So you'll and you'll see what goes on there. So let's let's get rid of this and put that back up. 
maybe crap that for a little bit of strength be a total glass cannon <laughs> go have melee and have shooting to or we could just have the the blade for defense and go resilience or fortitude Yeah, let's do that then. So okay, he'll, he'll he'll talk to people. Okay, so we have that worked out. Contact. We want somebody who can give us intelligence. We want one of those. I still have someone in status my first. Oh, here we go. Weapon zero. I want my best contact to be. It will go. I believe your most light, closest contact is going to be the first person you click. Um. Another good one for geez, this guy does he buys intel. We want anyone who buys we want people who buy intel. Uh because that's what we are selling. <laughs> we want them to buy what we sell. Discounted fuel. The only thing is these guys who are as I go further away, these people are generally further and further and further away. I actually don't want a politician in my same area as my intelligence officer. I think. Unless a prince buys intel. Does a prince buy intel? They do not. Hmm, it's only your fourth one that's not local. They offer diplomatic missions, I believe, so... I can always get context through introductions too, so I might just have a foreign prince so I can get pardons. Oh, they can get pardons too. But faction rank and other things, like trade permits and stuff. So I have a foreign prince. Which prince in this case could be like guy or girl. It's not like a specific. And it, it seems a little weird. A lot of the things in like a, uh, the, a lot of profession stuff uh, it's just one kind of thing, but that that but I guess that's just how they say it here, kind of thing. Uh, I don't really care for smuggler. Weapons dealer might be a good option for weaponry, but I'm not gonna really fight if I can help it. It's I'm going to fight when um when it comes up. Hmm. Keep merchants can buy intel, but I rather not. <laughs> See, I like dealing with like the political kind of. Can I have no? I can't have a prince in the same area. I find it a much more fun political game, like uh, by like going and helping all the different pol like politics of different countries, more than more than some of the other elements. That, that's again just me, really. Trade conditioning, I've heard of. I never had a chance to actually mess with it. They buy intel. So, screw it. I have, I have, a, I have a Gestalt Explorer as my as one of my guys to help me out. And a... Never mess with a salvage broker either. Uh, but they'll offer salvage missions, so I don't really see a way. Of, I can't get the X-Buy, which is a shame. But if you like if you like smuggling or doing like certain ele other elements of the game, the game def definitely has it in there for sure. And you probably and other people have really liked those mechanics a lot. But I kind of like this is one of those few games where you can actually kind of work between factions and affect conflicts. So I kind of rather do mess with that kind of stuff. I can oh they do exoskeleton recruits, which that's good if you want to fight aliens. Discounted medical, so we'll just do discounted fuel. Uh, no, we needed a prince, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's do that. I think that sounds good. So, we'll save that. They, and also, actually, one cool thing is they actually have a little thing saying over here that tell you what you have and what you don't have. Or what you have, I think, only. And I think we're we're good with our super spy template. 
I'll save that template and launch with that. And I'll just be here. I wonder if there's a head that's kind of like Hitman. Just for fun, even though we're not really being a Hitman. And then some faces, like some faces, are like that there, and I know some are like kind of a slight, like a slightly different theme to them. Like you can, like a, this, like this is kind of like a pirate mustache. This one, I feel like they really made with the intent of being a pirate because of the the facial hair makes me think of a pirate mustache. But I don't know. Oh, now I, I I think we'll try to do Raychart. Raychart's kind of the spy nation. Is that I don't think they actually have one that reminds you too much of Hitman. They have like this one here. But he's not like bald bald. He's still got some hair up there. And and generally I see that I tend to end up having a lot of that face on my crew, so I uh well Nah, we'll go with this one. We'll go with the fancy pirate one. Now you can actually change the uniform of like your entire crew, which is really cool. Uh, really fun, really fun element to this game. We'll have him maybe in something. I like to give the officer. If I'm doing right, I tend to like to give officers or something like that. But I see that's more Thaloon. You'll learn the probably the factions as you go on. This one's a really nice one. Two. I'll probably do this one actually. That's not too basic. We want to do the very first. I kind of prefer the very first uh, permadeath, but I change it typically to where. Whoop. Oh no! I, um, I might customize where I can get a hundred everything. Hold on. There we go. No boat. No boosts. But at the same time. You know, I wonder what the hardest Iron Man. It's twenty plus resilient, so we do that and then lower this to one hundred percent, one hundred percent. So that way, it's just one hundred percent everything, because this was like negative one hundred percent. These are plus one hundred percent. None is just normal one hundred percent. So I, I kind of like making my own difficulty, but th some of these will give you a little bit other stuff. Like it'll be really hard. All these only give you boosts. There's none that really don't either give you a boost. Or is it making it much harder? So I like just doing 100% everything. No boost, no negatives. Just as is. It's uh, fair on fair. Or fair fair across the board. Fair for them, fair for me. I'll do Captain. Uh, what, what, what are we thinking of? Let's do Captain. Uh... Hmm. And that's when we want to do manually assigned talent. I try to be pretty quick with it too, with, with those. Uh, the the right chart. I actually forgot whether like always like for some reason I don't know if it may have been by chance, but right chart for me always seemed to get like Russian names. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, some of them kind of have, like, name. Like, it, I think it's all random, but I always tend to get, like, really Russian names with them. And then, like, the Loon, I always got British names. And it seems weird because it seems like those, like, the Loon is, obvious, is like, somewhat more the, like, British an analogy or analog or whatever that term is for it. So I felt like that was on purpose, but I'm not sure. I need to switch real quick to right shirt. Syndicate right shirt. And then switch to. And the funny thing is, as soon as you get the the you know, despite your your starting faction, you're gonna immediately just start like just attacking them relentlessly. So the it's kind of funny because they're like, okay, please don't hurt us. We gave you the the ship. <laughs> we gave you the ship. Don't hurt us. We we made this may have been a giant mistake, <laughs> but you can kind of do what you want. Uh. A tribute 
to uh, a certain dog that went into space. We'll do that. I may have butchered the, the spelling of that name. All right, so. Okay, so. I'm explaining right here. The main difference from what I've read is that, like, the uh, the great houses, it's like feudalism. Uh, just normal, or normal feudalism, like, when you think of, like, when you think of feudalism. And then the the other side is more like um, elective, elective monarchy kind of thing. Or elective, by that, when it comes to the ships. That the ships can have people from the same family get them. But I don't think people outside... And people can be, like, adopted into the family. But I think it's someone in the family has to get it. Someone in that... But they called it a cohort. So it's kind of like a fam, like a royal family, but not. If I'm getting it wrong, let me know. But I think that's generally what it is. And then here's, I think, our first mate. And it's either our first or second mate. Okay. So, oh, I forgot we already get a right, we get a, just from the story, we get a right chart, um, or we get a, um, whatever starting faction you are, you get a prince there that wants you to do missions. I don't actually know if we're going to be able to do some of these missions, but we'll do the missions up to where we can, is one of it involves spying, but you will make somewhat of an enemy out of somebody if you do this. Not by much, just by a little, but you will kind of. So let's go ahead and get. Let's go ahead and get a hold of them. I'll check out our crew actually. So this is all our crew. Uh, now they all they all need uh, some stuff real quick. So I'll explain crew stuff while I'm doing all these talents. Uh, and if you want to do manual talents, I'll give you some tips. Um, I don't want to show all the time, so I just want to show the ones they can get. I like to get all the passives first. Like these do not if you if you fail something generally a good option to be honest because if you fail something you really don't want to do that you really don't want to have a situation where you fail something but this applies like the entire crew for most most cases actually when with the spies i i might not necessarily do that one they'll probably have other spies i might rather do the remove a risk card these risk cards aren't fun <laughs> Uh, or they're not fun when you get them. So let's just train that. And these you will raise up while you're, while you're, um, while you're leveling. Um, let's do, he's going to, the L oh, okay. So they're the quartermaster. Our crew, they're the, going to be the quartermaster. The doctor is Corwall Goldies. And they Ellen, Dora, or Shashu. But here's an example of where they weren't, in this case, it must have been random. He's none of the names I got this time were kind of Russian inspired. <laughs> At least not uh, those my, my two officers. I want a command test probably. More and then ship ops would probably be next. Or I think some crew members can get that, but you really you want to have up to at least four just in case someone dies. Uh, and generally, you'll have enough time that the other one has cooled down because they have these cooldowns. Uh, let's do that for repair. But you take tests no matter what as you're flying through space too. Which is gonna be like things like ship ops. And, yep, here we go. We have ship ops. I'm gonna have a small crew, so it's actually gonna, they're gonna level faster, but it's gonna actually be harder initially because um, I don't have a lot of people with skills to prevent failures for certain things. And if you start off higher level, you would start for the higher level crew. But uh, your ultimately your captain though will be a little. Uh, Weaker. 
uh, in the end game because they'll have less stats. They'll probably be still better than most people you can get, uh, depending on how low you drop your stats. But uh, it, I, I prefer having the long game. I'm not going to mess with soldiers at this point. Um, oh, let me check something real quick. Make sure nobody's accidentally messaged me and I missed it. Nope, we're good. Wow, my stream is... Oh, okay, so... You'll find it funny that I think... Like, where I am... I just... Because I changed the delay. So that, uh... The, so that the, um... It's because someone commented last stream that it was uh, a little bit glitchy. Uh, supposedly a longer delay uh, will have less of that problem. Um, and so I changed it. But I realize you guys are way behind... <laughs> So it's possible, it's very possible that, and I'll feel hilarious if this is the case, but if you're watching this and it was coming up, like the, the, the stuff was coming up while I was testing and like this game was coming up, but it wasn't, but uh, I was reacting like it wasn't, let me know, is <laughs> that would have been, that, I would feel really, really silly for that. <laughs> If the reason why I was looking it wasn't coming up was really just because there was just a massive delay. Oh no. But let's let's do ship ops. For the most part. Because we're not really patrolling or stuff like that at the moment. Patrolling is good for raising how people like you. Absolutely for sure. But um you know what, let's go back real quick and sort these people by job. <laughs> Oops, sorry, sort, sort by job. There we go. Go into talents. We want another ship ops. So that means that if a situation fails, they will activate the skill. And that's the reason I say you went generally four is I believe, like you see how these, they say three weeks cooldown. Let's assume you fail, fail, fail in a week, in three weeks. Uh, or fail one week. It's success. It, it makes it success. You fail the next week, it, uh, the next person will make it a success. You fail the third week, it'll make it a success. The fourth person, you could argue, oh, well, it's a little bit of a waste, right? But I don't really think it is because if one person dies and you forget to replace that, you might end up in a situation of where you're like, oh, no, I'm failing these. Why am I failing these? And and then, then you'll, and you won't know why. But this gives you some time, at least. Now, is it actually, do I have four people? I do. Okay, so, yep. I'm going to chain them there. So, now, if someone dies, I at least have that skill. I don't have to get back to a port and get another person with it. Um, or, if for some reason, a situation, like, a, a mission takes one of our chances, we could still walk away and get all of them. So, that's me being uber-duper safe. Are super duper safe, but uh, you don't have to do that. But that's I, I prefer doing that, and these can save you in your like spying or other things you're doing. Wire's good, we want to do that. Another one, we want to do that. Um, let's see. Oh, this is our gunners. Now, one funny thing you could do is you could just drop all your combat people for being a spy. You can just go, you combat team, you, 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 and you get out. Like the gunners, you just tell them to get out. You could, you, if you want, you can just tell them to get out and then just focus on getting uh, and, and not worry about them. Or you can choose to keep them uh, for a while. But you, but you are, especially if you do this ship, you do not have a lot of space to be doing that <laughs> or to be having all of these people uh so it's really up to you whether and, and you're not going to really be you know uh per, going to be destroying people in space you know very reliably so if you plan to go a bigger ship definitely keep these guys otherwise it might be worth just kicking them and then taking something else and then just running away in combat because you're good at that like, uh, one thing I actually like to do is take the weapons off my ship and just ditch the weapons and just go, you know what? 
I had to spy stuff and I run away. <laughs> and then when you get caught in my combat is that crude combat when I'm on ground. So we are doing that. We are we are not messing with the space combat at the moment because that's where you get a lot of dead crew members. <laughs> at least not yet. At least not yet. We when we get a bigger ship. But not yet. We will not we will not be able to do that. We can keep him around just so he levels up. He does have Sly. Uh, for fun, we can keep him. It's going to take up some of our money, but we can keep him. I tend to like to just get bunches of pilots and stuff and, not, and then put uh, stuff that make the ship have to have more pilots. Uh, so this is going to be more like a tutorial episode, I think. Because I think I think most of this is going to be just showing you how this lot of this works. You can rename your ship. Um, you have these stats here. Uh, for the most part, you're going to have your fuel efficiency, which will be affected by your engine, which is over here. You're going to have your skills. Uh, if it's yellow, that means you have more than enough. But oh, well, let me scratch that. Yellow, you have more than you need for the minimum to run well, to run at max efficiency, or the or to or the efficiency it tells you it should run. But going up to a certain extent will actually give you... Like, see where it says no bonuses gained above 200%. But, um... Let me call it. You, you could go up higher. But you really... You want orange, but you really don't need... Like, it'll tell you different stuff it gives. You get an additional until you reach 200%. Stuff like that. So... You want enough that if a pilot dies in battle, you don't drop low and then you can't run away. But you can still work. It's just not going to do as well. We don't care about gunnery at this moment, though. Uh, but I'm wondering if that will hurt us in combat. It's, if it drops below 100, you will be ineffective in combat. Electronics we cannot do without. Because we are a spy craft actually i don't even think we can do this beginning mission yet because we don't have a passenger thing no we do have a passenger thing i think from based off the ship do we yes we do good you can also be kind of a diplomat with the same build i do that's why i like doing spies and diplomats because you can kind of do the same kind of ship build of where you start with the small ship and then and move from there. But uh, let's let's get the rest of our crew first. And and uh, we'll not worry about our combat crew, though. Or gunnery. He gets me something. That, I think these towns can sometimes be really great. He gives me something that's really great. And that's this uh, sly, which will boost my rewards. And those are based off like the culture of the people, like what, like where you find the people. And I actually, I'll just give him a thing that prevents me from failing a gunnery check if I have that, if that's a thing. Because at least I'll have one, and if I run into somebody, I can shoot at them. A little bit. No, no, I. I I've never really messed around with them. I'll, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fire them. Dismiss. I can always get them again. Oh, I, that would send them to the airlock. I have to go back down to the planet. So we're gonna land on Bright Chart Prime. I'm gonna land down. Oh, I forgot how to land. Oh, here we go. There we go. And the, we, this is where our intelligence officer friend is. So you see how that never like randomly generated appearance. And uh, randomly gener generated almost everything about them. So, oop. let's see here. Let's fire this guy. Smith. You know what? First, I actually never have tried this. But where's equip? Can I just unequip it at home? No, I can't. Okay. I, ne I never tried to see if I could take their stuff off. I can then dismiss them. We're just going to dismiss them. And I don't really care for having certain combat crew members that I'm going to replace. 
uh, in a battle. We do uh, melee person is fine, but he the generally you want they could technically be the melee person, and both these guys can technically be the gunner. Soldiers are decent. Um, some people like them a lot. Some people don't like them a lot. They can shoot from four, row number four. So they're good in that regard. Uh, I will probably with my spy captain. I give you like a talents. Like a talent. Show all the talents. These will show what row you have to be in. In the crew combat. Uh, and it looks like most of their talents are in the middle two. And the back three. So, I will generally not be in the front. So, Swordsman is generally the person you want in the front. Unless you have a shotgunner. Um, you, uh, shotgunner would can also be in the front. The problem they typically have is they... Is you really have to be someone who's sitting up front with someone who actually can take a lot of hits. Which is not a normal thing to always have. Uh, but let's finish the non-combat crew's skills. Team talents. Do failed navigation. Test. Uh, there's a failed tactics test too, but I'm going to just do navigation. Recharge first. To be able to drive first, people, I think. Uh, failed pilot test. Yeah. Failed pilot test. Sure, landfall is good, but I, I, you know, it's not too important for because we're a smaller ship. We don't use that much fuel. Hmm, that thing, uh, that tooltip was popping in and out, was it? Whoop. Yeah, let's just do that. Expert maneuver for each one. Another good one is something like uh, sharp steering. If you're doing what I'm doing, of just going straight, uh, like uh, get it, get out of dodge. Uh, if someone comes up on you, because you can use like your power, like in like your engine power to try to get away. But you know what? We might actually do, and that has a cooldown itself. So c doing combat frequently can really, it could set you up to fail, <laughs> real bad. <laughs> so. Technically, starting as a spy to learn the game is actually a really good idea because you can totally, or starting as a spy or a dip, just a diplomat, like a diplomatic kind of person, which you can do as a spy because you can do anything as any class, and just be a diplomat is really, really, really fun, and it's in in of of itself. We're doing super spy for the sake of being a spy, um, so we're not gonna worry too much about that. We might go spy pistol here just so that we can be a little better in combat. But we'll worry about it later. Oh, this is our combat crew. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to get rid of them. Well, yeah, because they can't get a second. They can't get a second profession from what I remember. They're stuck with the job they have, I believe. Yeah, crew members can get... Saint can only fulfill one job. We do not need a pistol here. So sorry, but you're, you you got to go. Uh, Sophia Lockwood. You're a sniper. You might work. You're a soldier. Sniper, soldier. So we may keep anyone who can be in the back row. Like a soldier. I hope you're good. Oh, perfect. You're amazing, Vandal. That's his name, Vandal, right? No, he's Gobi. Who's Vandal? I may have just praised someone that I think I kicked out of the ship. No, Vandal? I'm almost sure I saw someone named Vandal. Oh, Valley. Oh, man. Vandal's a cool name. Kind of shame. Oh, no, no. He has Vandal skill. There we go. That's what... That's really good. You're really good, Vandal. You're just a little too charismatic for your own good. Not not uh not strong, which probably would have been probably more important, but 
you're our only swordsman at the moment, so you're gonna be. On initiative. Probably. Or no. Because these are like your attacks. I could give him something that just gives him parry. On initiative just means whenever it roll like when on initiative and activates start next at the start of each combat turn. Uh we'll basically give him a little buff each time. But it won't like a uh, stack, from what I remember. At least I don't believe. So, something to think of it. Now I just realized this is for three turns, so maybe it does. Balance Blade's really good, though. Because as you're attacking, you a special attack, you, uh, you basically, uh, and this makes him go faster, too. Ooh, that's a hard one. That is a hard one. Because this does melee accuracy, which generally you need at the beginning. You know, I'll just do that, and then I might get bravery. I'll probably get bravery line next. Because he'll probably just train, like level up from us doing missions. Uh, we want you to be far in the back. So suppressing fire and lowering accuracy. It's gonna be the probably the best idea. I mean, that's okay, but you really don't need armor. Dodge would be good. You don't really need armor. I mean, you want armor because you can wear it, but you probably really don't need it. You're gonna be in the back, so only like the long range people can shoot shoot that this person. Since they're gonna be in the back, so we want press press by. Please tell me that quickness is quick. If you want a sniper, you want quickness. 100% you win quickness. And wisdom. Yes, that's perfect. Good. Uh, they are set up to be a sniper. Uh, I'm not, probably not going to worry about that. This is somewhat of a hilarious dualism here. They're a originally lawful bandit. Okay. <laughs> so, sounds totally de legit. But they actually have natural bonus to rifles. And a natural bonus to intimidate, which only works um, if they go into a second class, uh, if they're an officer and they're like an officer with that. Um, I believe they, like, if they have an intimidate ability, they might be able to use that effectively, but they they won't have anything that that really affects at the moment. But it's good that they have it. I guess not going to help us at this particular moment. But we're not doing black markets. So that's perfect, actually. So we're not going to probably we're likely lose much. So we want suppressing fire. And then probably we'll do this one here afterwards. Oh, we have another person too. I did not realize we had another soldier. I missed that. He's good for salvaging. He's got a little bonus to rifles and explore. Ooh, that's a hard one. Uh, if we get an explorer, he'd be good. He's a little slower. He's got... They both have generally good stats. They don't have charisma, but that does not matter because they do not have any charisma abilities. Uh, but yeah, I think he has a little better stats all around. Except for wisdom. No, he's he's worse on wisdom for sure. And they're good on wisdom. I'll keep him just because I could if right, soldier's probably gonna like you could put a soldier in the front so if sword guy dies, he could just use a shotgun. He has higher like health like a. Oh, he might. Yeah, he he probably he'll have higher health. So I'll just equip him with. Oh, he's got an LMG. He doesn't have a sniper rifle in his hand. I want to give the other person the scout rifle. Now 
Now, oh, I want to show you something real cool uh, that you can do with the visual. You can go choose uniform. What what do we want to do for spies? I mean, that's kind of spy-esque. Or like someone who might worry working for a spy. These will probably be my officers. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Now, like, watch this. Auto sign outfit. All crew. That. Now, all the ones who can wear it have that. Now, switch over to them. Visual. See if they have an equivalent. Some, one weird thing I thought is that they don't all seem to have equivalents between like one gender and the next gender, which I think is really weird if like it's a uniform. <laughs> you know, it's like, but, uh, you know, that's just a thing, I guess. So you have to try to get as close as possible. And you know what? Let's just do this, auto sign this, all crew, and then let's switch this one because I know there's one that's like this. Back to the other one. No auto sign outfit, all crew. So those are those would match, and it matches our nation's kind of color scheme. And then I'll just do this one on that one, and then do they have uh, well, that one? Maybe they're the quartermaster, right? I can give them this. I'll have them wear the armor. Uh, he's a doctor, so he's like a non-combatant. And then we have our our stuff. Cool. I think we're pretty much all. Oh well, we didn't. Well, we don't need to. Um. Do we really want to? Do we want to upgrade that other guy? Or not? Yeah, because I'm not sure if what we want to give him. Because in the front, you want to use a shotgun. You don't want to use a rifle. And some of these say require a rifle. You want some, like roaring barrels. I mean, you don't have to give him a shotgun. But it just, it's kind of cool to give it to them. When it kind of has a, if you look here, it has like where it can only be used in the front two. Uh, and the Aries LMG, I believe, can only, yeah, it can only be used in the back two. Well, it can be, it's defaultly in the back two. It can be used up closer, but something like the scout rifle cannot be used from the front zone. And it can attack the front three people. Yeah, let's give him let's give him a shotgun. Let's give him a shotgun and upgrade him down the shotgun route. Roaring barrels. So we need to throw him in. We got him. Go ahead, refuel. Um now the question is do we want to go ahead? Do the mission here. Is he gonna get missions from them, or do we want to let's let's star this person because this is our like uh, probably our best contact. He's it's the spy officer essentially. Um, and I can get electron electronics tech, which is not unique. I don't think I can get them from. I might actually rename the stream once I put it out as setup uh, and not count this as stream one. And, and then you can, so that way people who want to start, uh, who want to skip the setup and go to, uh, and go straight up to the uh, playing of the game, we'll do that. That sounds like a good idea. And then that way we'll. And if anyone wants to send any suggestions of uh, crew members, 
I can maybe rename some of these guys and even do some of the faces. If you have the game and you have and you want a character changed, um, go ahead and let me know. Uh, I'll probably do first come first serve as long as and but preferably a uh, a normal esque name. <laughs> But or I should say, try to stay within uh, the naming system here, uh, and 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 avoid something like uh, something crazy. Unless you want to be like, if you would I say you wanted to do be Corwall here, you wanted to change him around to something. Let's say. You want to, like, you can change, change, uh, change the gender to, and this is another cool thing is you can change any of them, anything about your crew you can change. Uh, you can also give them armbands, stuff like that. Uh, you can change and like a hat. You can give them that. I thought there was the glasses. Oh no, eyewear. That's eyewear. Eye patches, glasses, goggles, things like that. But just let me know. Let me know what what you think, and we'll change them up. I <laughs> gave this guy glasses. I'll leave that. I'll leave that as that is. Uh, I'll probably actually, considering this is going to be pretty much set up, I'll probably see. Is there anything more I need to set up before I can probably go? I don't think there's any more I need, set up I need to do. I got everything everything set up. Uh, so yeah, I think I think we'll just leave it there and have a whole stream. Give some time if someone wants to send in some names. You can either comment on the uh, I'd comment on the VOD channel. Um, because I'll be posting this pretty much right after, and I'll check tomorrow before I get on and see. And and if you can't get for this one, I'll do it then. I'll also mention for the next one. I'm doing that. So if you didn't see this one, you'll get the next one. Uh, and it's the VOD channel is under the same name. It just has to really. So let me know. Uh, I really like this game. So I'll be out. I'm going to enjoy I think enjoy playing it. So uh, have a good one. And see uh, see you guys. See every, everybody tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.